What's going on guys? Josh from SoccerReviewsForYou.com bringing you a video today to discuss a question that I've been asked every single day, multiple times a day for the last five years or so and likely for the foreseeable future. That question being, how do you get large companies to send you free soccer cleats slash football boots either for review or just for free in general? Now, this is a question that gets asked be by three different types of people. Some people are genuinely just curious, which is perfectly understandable, and I will explain a lot in this video if you are curious on this topic. Two is people who are looking to do something very similar to what I do, product reviews, whether they have a YouTube channel, a website, a social media account, they wanna do product reviews and they want product to review, but of course they don't wanna to have to pay for it. And then three, People who genuinely just want free stuff in exchange for nothing, which isn't necessarily realistic. A lot of people refer to this as a sponsorship as well, which we'll also cover in today's video. But basically we're gonna be discussing this topic in general. So if you wanna learn more, stick around. And if you enjoyed this type of video, be sure to support this one with a like. Let me start off by actually defining the word free because I don't think it's the right word to use in this question in the first place. So free essentially means that you get something, generally that thing being an item, in exchange for nothing at all. You just get the thing, you don't pay anything for it, you don't have to do anything afterwards. It's like walking through a Costco or a grocery store and there's a free sample booth where they're giving out frozen pizza from a microwave. You know it's gonna be gross, but you take it anyways because it's 100% free. You don't even have to say thank you it's just a free piece of pizza in exchange for nothing. Now, when a company, let's say like Nike or Adidas, is looking to send you product for review, that product isn't free because they want something in exchange. It's a two-sided deal. Yes, you're getting a pair of shoes that you didn't necessarily have to pay for, but obviously they're giving you those shoes because there's some kind of benefit to them. It is not a one-way street here. It's not a free transaction. They want you to create some kind of content. They want you to make a review. They want some kind of exposure for that product that they gave you for free in order for it to be beneficial for them to send it to you in the first place. So for those that think that you can convince any company at all to just send you something in exchange for nothing, unfortunately, that's not how it works. So now that we've established what free actually means, what do you need then in order to get a company to send you a free product for review if that's the end goal? Well, if you ask me, there's two major things that you need to have. One being a following and two being a reputation. Developing a following is something that is very difficult to do and I guess the key thing here is that there's no guarantees when it comes to creating content and trying to build a YouTube channel or build an Instagram page or build some kind of a following, especially when you're talking about something that is kind of as personal as a product review. People have to like your opinion, they have to like your content, and to a certain extent they have to trust your opinion as well, which is more difficult to do than I think a lot of people necessarily realize. Now when I first started SoccerReviewsForYou.com, just to use myself as an example here, this is something that I started as a passion. It's something that I was a boot enthusiast and I felt like at the time the reviews that were out there because I did want to try all the latest stuff, they weren't good enough. They weren't what I was looking for. The reviews were based more around the marketing that wasn't real. It wasn't actually what the shoe would offer from an experience standpoint. So I figured I would make my own reviews both in written as well as in video form, soccerreviewsforyou.com and the YouTube channel. And that's what I did. And guess what? For the first year, probably year and a half, Nobody sent me anything for free. I had to pay for everything out of pocket. I worked at a local soccer store, pretty much minimum wage for three quarters of my time there. And even when I did get a little bit of a raise, it was just a very small raise. And essentially every single penny that I made at that soccer store got reinvested into the products that I wanted to buy for review for soccerreviewsforyou.com. It's something that, like I said, I put a lot of time, I put a lot of work into, I put a lot of money into it and Eventually it did turn into something. Was it a risk? Were there guarantees in this? Absolutely not. But obviously it is something that did end up working out for me. But again, 
None of this situation was simply handed to me. It's something that I worked very, very hard for in order to develop a reputation and develop some kind of a following. So that is something that is very, very key. You can't approach a company as a complete random with a private Instagram page with very few followers. You've never reviewed a product before and you're approaching a company with the promise that you're gonna tell all your friends how good your shoes are. That's not attractive to a brand. They wanna see some kind of established content base and they want to see some kind of established audience if they see that there's a chance they're going to see the value in what you have on offer and at that point they may want to send you something in exchange for review not necessarily for free as far as my own situation is concerned because i know a lot of you guys are curious about it I do get some stuff for free from the major manufacturers. You guys have seen the press kits that I get from time to time. And generally when a brand new model comes out, the companies will send me the latest shoes to do a review on. They want as much exposure on a product launch as possible, but everything in between for the most part, I still have to get on my own. I still have to pay for the money I make from this channel definitely does get reinvested into the channel in order to do all of these product reviews. And I have no issues with that at all. It's still something that I have a passion for. It's still something that I genuinely enjoy doing. And I have you guys to thank for all of this without the following that you guys have provided for me without establishing my reputation in the review industry, none of this would be possible. So I'm very, very thankful for you, you guys that watch my videos on a regular basis. You leave likes, you leave your comments. None of this truly would be possible without you. But the reason why I'm telling you this is that my opinion does not differ based on whether or not the product was sent to me for free, based on whether or not I had to pay the, for the product myself, based on how the company treats me at all. Obviously I've had some really nice treatment from Adidas recently. I went to London, England for the Adidas Nemesis launch event and I'm just using this as an example I had gone to that event event actually already having tried the Nemesis 17 plus the laceless model and the Nemesis 17.1 so even prior to the event I had previous experience with these shoes and guess what I went to the event it was an awesome trip it was an awesome I guess mini vacation if you want to call it that there was some work involved in terms of creating some content for you guys but it was a really really cool experience I'm very thankful to Adidas for it but none of that changes my opinion on the products guess what when I got back I still like the 17.1 more than the 17 plus and that's not going to change so again treatment what I get for free what I have to pay for myself just know when you watch my channel the opinions that I express are my own honest opinions based on my experience with that shoe, then my experience with that product, and of course how that product compares to other products out there that are perhaps similar in terms of style or similar in terms of price. So I want that to be 100% clear. The reason why I even bring that up in the first place is because I do often get asked why my reviews and opinions are sometimes so drastically different from other creators, other channels out there. My review being very negative, someone else's review very, being very positive as an example. That's generally the situation when that gets asked. And I will say this, obviously everyone's going to have a slightly different opinion, but I do also think that if a product is legitimately good, the reviews across the board generally should be pretty positive. But if a product is genuinely not very good, you'll see that the reviews across the board are kind of all over the place. So why is that? Why are reviews so different when it comes to certain products? And the simple answer to that question is the motivation behind the actual review. And this is something that a lot of people don't necessarily consider when watching product reviews of any kind. It doesn't matter if it's soccer cleats, electronics, whatever it may be. Here's what I have to say on this. I, when I review shoes, I have the only motivation that I have is to give you guys the best possible information to break down every single element of the shoe. That's why my reviews tend to be a little bit longer. I go into detail on every possible thing I can talk about on a product. So at the end of that video, at the end of that review, you know what's really good, you know what's not so great, and you have a really good idea of what that product is all about. What you do from there, whether or not I say the shoe is good or bad, it doesn't matter to me whether or not you buy it. It doesn't matter to me whether or not you're not gonna buy it or you are gonna buy it because of my review. Where you go and buy that product doesn't really matter to me either. I'm just giving you buying advice, and really the benefit for me is you guys watching my content, which I very much appreciate. If I were a store owner, which I'm not, 
and I was reviewing a product, let's just use this shoe as an example, it's right behind me, the Superfly 5. This is the lock in let loose colorway. Obviously the Superfly is a very good shoe, but let's say just for the sake of an example, this is not a very good product. I did my review and I said, hey, this isn't very good for these reasons that I'll explain, you shouldn't buy it. If I were a store that had this product in stock and I was trying to sell it to you, could I honestly say that it wasn't very good? Probably not. I, I don't think you would do that. It would, be, it would be something that just wouldn't make a lot of sense. If you're trying to sell a product that you carry in your store, you're not going to tell people that it's not very good. The review is always going to be positive because there is the motivation of actually trying to sell that product that you're reviewing. So that's something that definitely needs to keep, be kept in mind when you're watching other reviews. I'm not trying to say that my opinions are the best on the internet, but I'm telling you what my motivation is when I'm reviewing products, and that is partially why you sometimes see on my channel that I give a negative review of a product and someone else says that it's actually pretty good. It's not because we have drastically different opinions, it might be, be, it might be because there is ulterior motivation to what that end review will end up being. So something to keep in mind, because trust me guys, I, I've tried all of this stuff, there are products that are legitimately very good, and if they are good, the products reviews, like I said, will be good across the board, but there are also some products that are legitimately not that great and not worth buying. I'll tell you about them when that's the case. If someone else's opinion differs from mine, I guess you can decide who you trust. While on the topic of transparency and motivation behind reviews, I do want to bring up this aspect of what I do, and that is SR4U laces, my own line of replacement laces for soccer cleats slash football boots. You see them in the majority of my product reviews. It is the one plug in my videos. I advertise my own products. Some people absolutely hate it, but hey, it is what it is. Notice that I've never really reviewed SR4U laces on my channel. Do I think it's a good product? Yes. But do I think it's a better product than the stock laces that come with your shoes? No, it's pretty much the exact same thing. It's a product that exists for the sake of having something a little bit different. It's more of a style product rather than a performance product because I really did want to have my own product at some point in time, but once I had all of this established, I didn't want to have a performance product in the game whatsoever. I just wanted something that you could buy as an accessory, as an extra, and that's what I really feel like SR4U Laces is. I've had the criticism that some people think that because I own a lace company, that I automatically negatively review laceless shoes like the Pure Control and the Nemesis 17 Plus and the Adidas Glitch, because that's gonna put me out of business. I can honestly tell you that that is not a motivation for me whatsoever. Three shoes on the market that don't have laces is not something that concerns me or SR4U laces as a business whatsoever. I'm very thankful to you guys who support SR4U laces for those of you guys that have purchased them. By the way, they are available at sr4ulaces.com. Shameless plug. Anyways, again, that, that's not a motivation for me. I. I don't like the laceless shoes for reasons that I've explained in my reviews. And I feel like I always give legitimate opinions when I actually do criticize a product. I never say it's bad because I think it's bad. There's always reasoning behind it. And if you watch the reviews, you will see that reasoning. So I just wanted to talk about that very, very quickly in this video, because I know some of you in the comments probably will bring it up. But again, SR4U laces exist not as a performance product, but more so as a styling accessory that you obviously don't need. It's not gonna make your shoes better. There is no performance benefit to them. I'll say that outright right now. But if you want something that looks a little bit different on your shoes, it is an option to you. And if you do end up buying SR4U laces, thank you very much for your support. It is a cool way to support the channel if that's something that you're interested in. All right, guys, so that is more or less the answer to a question that I get asked very, very often. As you can see, there really is no step-by-step -step process to go about approaching a brand in order to review products or get product for free to review, but it is something that takes a lot of hard work. There is going to be a startup cost associated to reviewing any kind of products at all because you actually have to have the products to review. The content has to be good and you have to stick with it. And even then, there are no guarantees in this industry. You can't force people to follow you. The content actually has to be good. And again, there is a lot of unknowns when you do something like this, but if it works out, it can be a very, very satisfying and motivating thing. So again, I wanted to thank you guys 
who watch my videos regularly, who have supported my content over the years and continue to support me. None of this would be possible without you, but that's pretty much it. If you guys enjoyed this video, found it helpful and informative, be sure to support it with a like. Subscribe if you haven't already for daily videos on all the latest and greatest soccer gear. You can find all of my social media information linked down below in the description as well. And other than that, guys, hope you enjoyed today's video. And as always, thanks for watching.